Hey folks, how you going? Today I thought I would do an updated video of my LP plus the JJRC E45. And I've been using this a fair bit this drone, so I thought I'd just do a video and let you guys know how I've been getting on with it. Okay, let's go. So we'll start off with the basics to cover. I've um, used this a fair, fair few times, as I've said. Um, the case itself is pretty robust. Uh, the zip's been pretty good. As I said, it's copped a little bit of a beating, this drone, so everything's holding together really well. Um, especially for a fairly low-priced China Chinese budget item. Um, two batteries, remote, manual, Screwdriver, spare props, which I haven't actually used those yet. Um, as I said in my previous videos, you might have seen me stack this a few times, which I have. Uh, I've still got the original blades on, so it's actually really quite robust. And if you just wanted to change one of these props, all you need to do is to pull out your OEM screwdriver, stick them down in here. Bit of a twist and off she comes so that's just locked in place you can see the little uh, tube there it's like a little hex head on that so that just sits in there and locks in so yeah pretty easy to replace those if you need to obviously um, you're going to need to make sure you have the opposing ones on the correct arm what's going to be doing this sort of thing yeah okay put that away there so as I said batteries um, I was only getting about seven minutes from one of these I did notice uh, running completely flat the first few times charging it up um, takes about 10-15 minutes but um, I'm getting nearly nearly 10 minutes flight time out of one of these so um, I purchased the kit with two so two batteries remote and the drone. Download your app from the app store and away you go. So we'll just chuck the battery in there, push them in, slide them up and it locks in there really well. You get some, some spare rubbers with this drone as well which I haven't used. I said the legs still click in fairly well. It's got no cracks in it. It's a really sturdy unit, really happy with this. There's a bottom line. Uh, adjustable camera, 720. 90 degree adjustable, it's got a light in it. So, okay, you've got your little JRC remote here. Again, that's a sturdy unit. I put some uh, some double A, triple A batteries in there, um, which are the only batteries I've kept in there, I haven't changed them, and it's lasting really well, good range, etc. Um, so, again, up the front here, you've got your high low, one press for one beep, another press for two beeps, another press three beeps, believe it or not. Uh, which makes it go one, slow, two, faster, and three even faster. Recommend not flying this quickly in the wind because you get into all sorts of trouble. Uh, okay, so you've got your on-off power here on the side. It emits a beep when you turn it on. Um, number two is the joystick here. So you've got your, your obviously your forward, uh, up, down, uh, your left, right. Um, push it down to actually start it and push it down again to land it nice and calmly. If you want to do an emergency stop then you whack this button down here and what will happen is it will just stop dead and plummet to the earth which you often need to do because you haven't got time to gently land it. Uh, going around these buttons, uh, this one here, top button here is headless mode which means whether it's facing you or not facing you tilting it will do the same thing so yep so you yeah, spin it left and right tilt forward move it forward back up down etc pretty easy to control lots of fun too um, this one here uh, long presses and it will calibrate the unit so it calibrates them together um, pushing it up and pulling it back is your initial lock-in as well and 
This button over here to the left does your light control, so you can actually turn the lights on and off. Okay, so what I might do is just turn it on for you guys. Okay, so when you first power it on, the lights flash, then you push it forward and back. A little bit of beep, so they're connected. Now to calibrate the handheld unit, you long press this button here, and you'll see all the lights flash. Keep your finger on it, and your thumb on it, until the lights stop flashing, and you're ready to go. So the next thing to do from here is to push your button to start. I won't fly in here because we're digging in the head. Push your button again to stop. And again to stop, which takes some time doing because obviously it needs to land. So what I'll do now is I'll hook the join up to the app. So the first thing you do, you need to turn your join on. Okay. Turn on your Wi-Fi. And you'll um, see your not home Wi-Fi, you'll see your any minute now okay UAV will pop up, mine automatically connects so we're ready to roll so turn on your JJRC app click the connect button it's important you do this first and then turn your controller on, if you do it the other way around it doesn't work okay so there's some video Going around now. Video quality is pretty good. I'll go out in the open shortly and I'll take some take some photos and run some video so you guys can see the quality. So I just want to show you guys some of the features of the uh, app here for controlling it with the app. I'm going to go out for a demo shortly. Um, I want to gather you can't actually control the gyro on the app, you have to use two hands, which is a little bit fiddly, but we'll see how we go with that. That's no drama, because I'm only flight with this. Um, use the app for recording, so obviously over here it takes your snapshots, this one here takes your video, it shows you when it's video recording. This one here shows you the output of where your files go. These are your three flight speeds, so you're 30% slow, 60 quicker, and 100, so she's as fast as she'll go. Okay, this little funny looking spinning top here, that's the gravity sensor control. So, I haven't tried it, but I believe you hit that one, then you can actually use your, your phone, I believe, to control it. I'm not entirely sure. We shall find out, though. Gravity sensor. So, uh, there your configuring button, so uh, you hit the rev. Uh, that's the camera in reverse, for whatever reason, if you want to do that. Uh, that funny thing that looks like a book there, that's a 3D display. You can actually have the phone set up on 3D display if you want. Uh, the other little thing that looks like a compass there, that's headless mode. I explained that before. And one key reset, which is this one here, which resets everything. So you can actually turn that options, options part of it off when you're flying it. Now this off button, you whack that on and you get your controllers coming up here so standard uh, phone controllers I find these quite hard to use as you'll probably find out shortly um, this is your joystick your throttle and this is your rudder your right joystick here um, yeah I'd prefer to use something more mechanical but we'll see how we go um, these funny squiggly things there trim so you can trim it Trim your actions, throttles, yawing, etc. Up and down, left and right. Now you hit this um, little hourglass there, and you get some more options that come up in the middle. I'll just run through these. So the 360 degrees, um, what that allows you to do um, is if you're feeling like you want to do a flip, <laughs> you can whack your 360, and apparently the drone will do a complete flip around in flight so I might test it out shortly as well and obviously one key start which is this one here so if I push that she'll start up it's still connected uh, which is not dropped out uh, the down arrow is the uh, one key landing and um, this funny looking snake here is um, your flight plan so you can actually select that 
and say you want to do a figure eight with your drone so you can just go type in an eight and you can see your drone's going to fly around to the pattern that you have drawn I'm going to go try that out shortly as well so that's pretty cool and of course your stop is your emergency stop touch that the whole thing cuts out and comes crashing down so basic controls there you have it okay so we'll turn it off quickly while I'm talking about connections if you are near home and you have your phone hooked into your home Wi-Fi that tends to override the Wi-Fi connection on here and when you're out in the world uh, away from your home Wi-Fi where your phone automatically connects to it'll connect to it every time without a hassle but you see uh, she's dropped out now it's because my phone's overriding it so it's not a big issue but just bear that in mind so what you have to do is go to settings on your phone and into your Wi-Fi settings and uh, manually force your drone to start um, connecting via to your mobile device with Wi-Fi uh, the other thing is if you leave that sitting there for too long it'll just time out and turn itself off another thing to look for if you're messing around for too long okay that's enough dribble I think uh, I might just pack it up and then um, head out and do some more flying see you in a minute